<laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dirt My Whip. Still a cold episode, got a few more months of cold. Got some friends with me today though. No hide, no nothing. Hey buddy. All right, cool. <laughs> I found a product today that I want to test out to try to get these bearings, the ones inside my G35, to sound a little bit better than what they sound like now. As you know, we have a pretty serious engine knock going on in the car, and before I take that engine out and replace it with a good one, I wanna see if, will these kind of products actually work? So when this is actually installed and is part of you know your engine itself, as it goes up and down and makes compression from the top, it spins on the crankshaft. Now, here is where you would normally have a bearing that allows it to spin on the crankshaft properly. What happens that's very common with uh, Z and G engines is that the actual bearing will uh, start to get cut and sheathed because of lack of uh, pumping issues. It's very common on the motor and it causes it to make this noise. Okay. Is this the trash can? <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, so I have two friends for sale. If you guys would like them, just let them let me know in the comments below and we can set up a time for me to drop them off. So as you saw from the last video, we got the back end of this car sounding good. Now we gotta get the front end sounding just as good. Picked up some oil for it. This is the product I was talking about. It's Bars Leaks Engine Repair. It claims to increase compression, horsepower, stops leaks, noise, and smoking. So hopefully, we're gonna go by the instructions and do this by the book and we'll see if this actually makes our pistons stop knocking. Now let's see what it looks like. Ooh, it's filled to the top. You can always tell when it, an engine has an internal issue due to the uh, oil having this metallic, like pearlescent look to it. it, has little flakes of metal. I'm not seeing that in this, and with how hard it's knocking, that's very interesting to me. I wonder if it was just a small failure and the engine's back to working like normal, and now we just have a slight knock. I'm really interested to see what this product is gonna do for us. Now that we got the oil drain, we're gonna go ahead and add the new oil to it. The directions say on this is to add it after you add in your new oil from your oil change. I'm gonna get that put in and then put that in. Now that we've got the oil additives inside the engine crankcase, only thing left to do is to turn it on and let's see if after enough rotations, the actual knock uh, starts to dim down and go away. Maybe even go away completely. Well, I don't think that did anything, <laughs> but it's all right because that is a heavily damaged motor. Now I have to add a disclaimer. The company does say it can take up to 100 miles or multiple treatments in order to get the motor to start sounding better. So I will continue to do this and I'm gonna update you guys on the next video about it. And I also must give you guys an update on the 350Z. I've got some unfortunate news. No big deal really, actually. It's just having a clutch problem. I need to replace the clutch. So I'm going to be removing the engine to change that out. If you guys wanna see a video on that, let me know in the comments. I'll also put a poll up on my Instagram Instagram. Now I really like the wheels on this so I'm thinking why don't we just borrow them for a little bit maybe put them on the G Let's see how that looks and got the wheels swapped over. It is now nighttime. My god. It's dirty as hell though Let's take it to the car wash real quick Ha, ha, ha. 
Next, the foam brush. This is the first time I've cleaned this car ever since I owned it. Not too bad. It actually cleans up pretty nice. Still the rod knock rocket because, you know, I mean, knocking. Even though we weren't able to get the knock taken care of today, the car is super clean. I love the wheels on it. They might be permanent, they might be temporary. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Should I keep them on the G35 or should I take them back and put them on the 350Z? With that being said, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next episode of Drip My Whip. Peace.